Another application of Newton's laws. Let's do this example. A 60 kilogram man is standing on the weighing scale inside an elevator. What is the reading on the weighing scale if the elevator is at rest? B. The elevator moves constantly upward. What is the reading if the elevator moves constantly downwards? And how about if the elevator accelerates at 2 meter per second squared upward? And also the reading if it accelerates in the opposite direction, downward. So we have in here the illustration of a man standing on the weighing scale. And you have the given, the mass of the man given 60 kilograms, and then the acceleration due to gravity is uh, the 9.8 meter per second squared in magnitude. Note that the reading is equal to the force exerted, uh, the total force exerted on top of the weighing scale. That automatically be registered as the reading on the scale. And this is also equal to the normal force exerted by the surface by action and reaction principle or applying the action and reaction principle. Therefore, reading is equal to the normal force exerted by the surface of the weighing scale. So, in solving the problem or this specific example, let's do the free body diagram on the surface of the weighing scale because that's our point of consideration. So, there's uh, only two forces that will act on the surface. Of course, the the force that would press uh, the scale down or the surface down that is equivalent to mg or the force exerted by the man standing on the scale, on top of the scale. And then a normal force exerted by the surface. So our question for letter A, uh, what is the force or the reading if the elevator is at rest? The summation of forces along y, since there's no forces along uh, horizontal, is equal to zero. That's first law, case A, because it is at rest. Then, what are the forces? We only have normal force, and then the W down y is equal to zero. Or the normal force is equal to um, w, or simply the mass times the acceleration due to gravity, or the normal force is just equal to 60 kilograms times 9.8 meter per second squared, and this is equal to 588 uh, newton, or kilogram meter per second squared, or newton. This is the uh, normal force exerted by the um, by the top of the wing scale, and this will be registered as the reading on the scale. Letter B, question is, what is the reading if the elevator moves constantly upward? So if it moves constantly upward, again, there is no acceleration. Acceleration is zero, so regardless of how fast the elevator moves up, uh, it doesn't affect our reading. So still the same, the summation of force along y is 0. Therefore, uh, n minus w is still 0. And it, again, gives us an answer n, or the reading, equal to 588 newtons. And how about for letter C? The elevator uh, moves constantly downward. Again, acceleration is zero. The same summation of force is equal to zero. Therefore, all the forces, simply the normal force minus the weight equals zero. And we still have the same magnitude of uh, the normal force equivalent to the reading on our scale, which is equal to 588 newtons. And what about 
for letter D. <clears throat> what if the elevator accelerates at 2 meter per second squared upward? So, acceleration is equal to 2 meter per second squared then upward. So, what will happen? Our FBD still, the FBD, the normal force and the weight, no other forces. So, therefore, our equation becomes second law for there is now acceleration. The summation of forces is equal to MA. So, what are these forces? The normal force, of course, the weight always, or the weight of the man always exerted downward. So, uh, minus W, and this is equal to MA. And, uh, normal force reading, or this is the reading, equal to uh, MG, tra transferring this, or transposing to the other side, plus MA, or therefore, M is G plus A, and this is equal to uh, 60 kilograms times 9.8 meter per second square plus acceleration is 2 meter per second square. Then the normal force felt by the surface of the weighing scale is equal to um, 708 newtons. So this is also the reading. And then how about for our question E? Our question E, what is the reading if the acceleration is equal to 2 meter per second squared and then downward? Our equation becomes, then this is accelerated, so summation of force along y is not equal to 0, but our acceleration is negative, so this is negative ma. And what are the forces? We have n minus w, still w negative because downwards, then minus ma. n is equal to mg minus ma. Therefore, as m g minus a, this becomes 60 kilograms times 9.8 meter per second squared minus uh, 2 meter per second square and the answer this is equal to 468 newtons and this is the reading registered on the weighing scale so what have you noticed when there is no acceleration sample if it is at rest moving upward with constant velocity and also moving downward with constant velocity, the reading on the scale is simply the weight of the man, uh, equal to 588 newton. But then, if there is acceleration, there is as if an increase or decrease of force. Taking, for example, the reading as uh, the man appears to be heavier or lighter. The apparent weight can be associated to its inertia.